guys, Steve here from Bloom Audio. Today we've got the all new Lyric from Meze Audio. Uh, Lyric is a $2,000 closed back headphone from Meze. So it comes in a little bit under the Empyrean in terms of price. And the design is a little more subdued than Meze's other high end uh, sort of flagship headphones like Empyrean and Elite. So it's a really interesting take on some classic Meze design patterns and just a really great headphone. So let's take a closer look. All right, so we're going to take a look at Lyric uh, packaging and accessories and all that that comes with it. So uh, when you get it out of the box, Lyric is in this case, somewhat reminiscent of the case from the 99 Classics. Uh, bigger, a little nicer. Uh, you can open it up and see inside. It's got a nice cushy interior. That uh, the headphones are in, kind of a velvety material. So you can get a close-up look at the headphones themselves. Uh, this, the material on the wood cups, reminds me a little bit of the 99 Neo. Uh, it's kind of a coated, uh, slightly soft plastic, and then. Some magnesium here uh, for the majority of the frame with the leather headband uh, with like a mesh underside for breathability. Uh, so the pads are very similar material to the hybrid pads on the Meze Elite, uh, but the clamp is a little bit tighter on these. They're also a little bit smaller space for your ears on these than the um, Empyrean or Elite pads. You, know, you can get a good look at the drivers here. Uh, it's a very comfortable, very uh, solidly built pair of headphones right here. Now in terms of the other stuff, you get two of the 3.5 millimeter cables with the 3.5 mono plugs to plug into the headphones. So this doesn't use the mini XLR. And that means you can use uh, the, the cables from the 99 series, which include those balance cables, which I really like. So, and then here is the other one. So you get one short, one long, a couple of adapters here, uh, 6.3 millimeter and the airplane adapter. And then you also get this carrying bag. So, you know, presumably, traveling stick your cable adapters and all that in there and pack it up and you're off to the races so a very cool package uh, you know, nice design here. This is a much more practical case than you get with Empyrean or Elite. And uh, yeah, just really good package overall. Just like with the visual and physical design of the headphone, the sound has hints of Meze while also defying your expectations. So the tuning feels somewhat neutral uh, maybe more of a, a Harman curve type tuning. Uh, the sound, the timbre is very natural and transparent. Uh, there's some good air in the highs, well-balanced mids, and the bass is deep and impactful, uh, but doesn't bleed up into the mids. It's probably closest can, in terms of Meze's ex existing lineup, closest to the elite probably in terms of the general sound. Uh, but, you know, when you get into the bass, the bass is very well extended with a, with a sub bass emphasis, which is a different take for Meze. Um, and then, you know, you get that impact, but there's less mid bass. And then coming into the mids, you don't necessarily get strong texture on the bass. Uh, but they're very well-defined, very detailed mids. Uh, there's a strong natural timbre that uh, is you know, notable when you hear acoustic instruments, piano, other things. just has a really great character to it. Uh, there can be a really intimate 
uh, feeling to voices, uh, to vocals, uh, especially when when the recording itself was was made that way uh, with a more of a singer songwriter or smaller ensemble type setting, you really feel that intimacy in there. You feel that emotion. And that's where it still connects with, I think, Meze as a whole, is it, it still has that emotional nature to it that I think really defines Meze as a brand. So as you move into the treble, the treble is very well constructed, and I think in a way that balances out the low end, where the way the sub bass is built, I think it, the headphone could have ended up sounding a little bit dark. Uh, but the treble balances that out, even though it doesn't fully extend, there's some good air in the treble. And it's, again, essentially smooth at the top, definitely very non-fatiguing nature to that. And the whole sound signature is very well balanced out. Um, the sound stage is, is pretty solid for a closed back headphone. Uh, very much of a round feeling that you know, with the right song kind of comes behind and all the way out in front as well. Uh, the imaging gives you both a good horizontal sense and a good sense of depth as well. Uh, and, and just the right amount of weight to add that holographic sense uh, to the 3D image. Now, the one other thing I wanted to note is this is a, you know, designed as a mobile headphone. And it does perform uh, pretty well, you know, with the stock cable, 3.5 millimeter in a mobile device. Um, but, you know, if you can get the balance cables, if you can plug it into something with a little bit more power, it really does bring out a lot more of the headphones performance, especially the bass really comes alive with a little bit more power. And you just, by adding that bit more head headroom, it helps the headphone open up more and gives you more of that sound stage. So while definitely, uh, you know, solid as a mobile headphone, it's exceptionally good as uh, when you when you plug it in, it really brings the whole thing alive. So for Lyric, in terms of comparisons, I couldn't really think of one specific comparison I wanted to spend a lot of time on. Maybe Stelia from Focal is the closest, but I thought maybe we would just kind of hit some random thoughts on a few different headphones so that that'll help you get an idea of where Lyric sits in the closed back market right now. So sonically, I think it's very much in the same territory as uh, the Dan Clark, uh, you know, the, the Stealth, or you're know, going back to the, um, the Aeon Noir, where, you know, compared to the Stealth, uh, you know, Stealth has stronger resolution, bigger soundstage, better imaging, but I think Lyric is in some ways a little more musical, a little more emotional in its sound than Stealth is. Not quite as comfortable as Stealth, but it's, also up there in terms of comfort. Then when you jump down to the Aeon series, you know, you know, it flips where Lyric has, you know, better resolution, uh, bigger sound stage, more holographic imaging than, than you're getting there. Also, you know, where Stealth might have the comfort advantage over Lyric, Lyric has the comfort advantage over, you know, the, Dan Clark Aeon 2 Noir or the regular Aeon 2. Uh, so in some ways, it, it kind of sits in between there nicely where if you are looking for, you know, something with a sound like Stealth, but don't want to go all the way up to that $4,000 mark, uh, Lyric is going to give you a lot of those same characteristics, the comfort uh, in a package that is easier to drive and is easier on your wallet as well. So that also means Lyric is really edging in on the Focal Stellius territory as well. 
Uh, obviously, they're different, being one being planar magnetic, the other being dynamic. And there's just some different characteristics to the sound, with Stelia having a stronger mid bass and being a little brighter in the treble, Lyric having more sub bass, and I think having a, a little bit more of a smooth treble at the top, which could go either way, where sometimes Stelia's treble gets a little sharp, Lyric never really hits those notes uh, like Stelia does. But Stelia is a little more portable friendly, where you are getting better performance out of an unbalanced connection, out of a lower power device than Lyric is. So there's definitely uh, you know some pros and cons there, but Lyric is very much competitive with Stelia. Uh, another thing I wanted to note is I, you know, I'm a really big fan of Audio Technica's you know the Woodcup closed back headphones and also the uh, the AP two thousand Ti, and those headphones all have you know amazing sparkle and air, really good sound stage, where Lyric is a little more grounded. Timbre's more natural. I think the overall sound is is more truly transparent uh, and well balanced. It's a more versatile tuning in general. Uh, you know the the ATH AWKT, uh, you know, is amazing with uh, some of the same things, acoustic and classical uh, sounds. But it doesn't balance out as well on you know pop rock, EDM in the way that lyric does. Um, so yeah, when kind of looking at a few different options, I, I really think lyric is a standout given the price. It has a really strong broad appeal, uh, and it's yeah it's very well placed right now at two thousand. So. Lyric is definitely not just an upgraded 99 classic, uh, nor is it a closed back Empyrean or even a closed back Elite. Uh, what Lyric is, is a bridge between Meze's roots and their path forward. Uh, it balances performance and musicality and that sense of emotion that's part of Meze's DNA and puts it in a headphone that earns a seat at the table with some of the best closed back headphones in the world. Thanks for watching. You can check out Lyric and a lot of other great products at bloomaudio.com. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll be back soon with more hi-fi personal audio content.